Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I'm currently at the Chapel of Lights, and my goal for this episode is to head down to the Empire of Hands, and use the Searing Enigma that I just got to get the treasure map, and then, of course, use the treasure map to find the treasure. Because I like treasure. Ooh, shinies. Money. Hopefully lots and lots of money. Unfortunately, I'm in a little bit of an awkward position, because my terror is really, really high. Which means I really don't want to run with my lights off. And if I'm going to run with my lights on, I need a lot of fuel, and I don't have that much money. So I think what I'm actually going to do is head over to Con Shadow to resupply on relatively cheap fuel. Running with my lights on the entire time. And then head to the Empire of Hands. Seems like a plan. So, let's do it. Take a stop at Nuncio along the way, I suppose. You know, I didn't really expect to, uh, to find myself coming all the way over here. I thought I was going to do the thing at the Avid Horizon and then just go back to London to resupply and stuff, but... I really, really want to do the treasure hunt. If I had resupplied, though, I could have gotten a lot of stuff. Like, I could have gotten some prisoner's honey, taken it to the Utter Shroom, done some more propagation, which would have allowed me to get more, um, more ray-drenched cinders, which I could have turned into... Oh, hello, Vortex. Which I could have turned into... Uh, what's the place called? Venderbite? Yeah, Venderbite. Could have turned it into the first curator, which would have given me a bunch of money. But, oh well. It's fine, we get to go on a treasure hunt. It's fun. You know, one of these days, I feel like one of these vortices are gonna, like, detach itself from the Unterzee and just chase me. It wouldn't surprise me if they're actually alive. This could reduce my terror significantly. Let's see what it goes down from. From six to... Oh, shit. Mm. I don't think it knows I'm here. It's, it's investigating. No, I think we're okay. We're significantly faster than it. Come on, turn around. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> I'm ready to shoot, but I don't want to shoot it yet. Come on, turn around. You're not going to keep coming, are you? Alright, you know, I'm going to zoom past it. Slow it down right now. Oh, thank you. Turn around for me. <laughs> Get yourself stuck on the rocks. Nice. I'm not going to complain. What a terrible captain. One fuel? Ugh. Ah, it's okay. I went from like 60... I was probably up to maybe 70 at that point. I started out at 66. I had my lights off for a bit, chasing it around. Yeah, still ended up uh, lowering my terror. Somebody told me, by the way, that I should take a Blemigan to Nuncio, just to see what happens. I'm guessing the Blemigans and the rats, maybe, uh, maybe they get along swimmingly, or perhaps they don't get along, and that's the fun of it. I don't know. I'd like to see what would happen, though. Ooh, maybe the Blemigan is actually what you need to continue the whole quest line. Right, because it always seemed like I never finished my quest here. Because the whole tavern and, like, I can't get the, I can't get the uniform or anything like that. Yeah, that could be related. What would a Blemigan do with a bunch of rats? Just feed on them? Hmm. 
Maybe the rats would be the audience, and the Blemigan would just recite poetry to them. And they would live happily ever after. I really need money. I've only got a thousand echo. I feel naked with a thousand echo. I'm just gonna go full steam ahead. It's gonna turn around, but I'm just gonna get behind it. Oh, never mind. It's gonna do it for me. All right, here we go. Perfect. Parabola linen. Thank you. Terror is now down to 59. Sweet. And now that my my ship is so big, perhaps I should try running over the mouths of one of those things to see whether they can actually eat you. That sounds like a terrible idea. I've actually got a lot of hunting trophies. I want to try using them here because I know you can. I thought the reward for using them here was really poor though, and I can't remember what it is. Let's get a port report. Yeah, so what does this do? I've got 14 hunting trophies. Fragments. Okay, so just fragments and then a bunch of stories. Eh. I don't really need any of that. Well. No, I really don't. I've got 16 of those, 19 of those, 24 of those. Yeah. Nah. Uh, hold on, anything else to do? Nope. Okay, over to Con Shadow to get some fuel. Let's go under, because there tends to be a Canate warship up above. <laughs> I'd love it if you could buy a novelty horn for your ship in this game. Wouldn't that be great? Let's buy some things. Hmm. I feel like I should get an empty mirror catch box. I keep wanting to fill it with sunlight and sell it to the Isle of Cats. I want to try that to see what you get for it. Hmm. Mm, that's 250, though. I really don't have the money to, to spare on experimentation at the moment. Alright, is that going to be enough? I'm low on supplies, but I'm about to stop by Mangrove College, which is going to resupply me. Yeah, it should be fine. Um, I'm just thinking, where am I going to go after the Empire of Hands? I mean, I could go down to Adam's Way, because of the whole unaccountably peckish thing. Now that I am peckish, I think I could try doing that. I don't know, though. Mm. I feel like I... No, you know what? I'm not going to do that right then. I want to do that when I go to deliver more stuff to the Empire of Hands, more fuel. When I do another run down here to the Iron Republic, get the hydrogen over to the Utter Shroom, get some more Blemigans, propagate them more. Yeah, I think that's when I'll go to Adam's Way, is when I'm down there doing that stuff. So let's just head to the Mangrove College and then Empire of Hands. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go to the Empire of Hands, get the treasure, and then probably just head back to London. Although, I suppose it depends on what actually happens with the treasure. I don't know, it could spin into some whole big storyline kind of thing. Who knows? 
God damn, my big crew likes to eat, huh? Supplies are dwindling so fast. Oh, hello. That would reduce my tear. Back up. <laughs> the range on this forward weapon is insane. I'm actually really close to running out of supplies. Uh, we'll be fine though. Mangrove College is just right here. just down the street. Let's butcher it. Mm, two supplies. Okay, that was not even close to worth it, but at least my terror went down to 50. It really seems incredibly... like... I want to say invaluable. That's not the right term, though. It just doesn't seem worth it to kill creatures for the most part. Like, even if you kill big stuff, it doesn't give you that much. A casket of sapphires worth like a hundred echo, eighty echo, something like that. Bleh. Just eh. Poor report. Oh, that's right. Because you're of your hunger and you get one supply for doing that. But the most important thing is to gather supplies. Lost a crew member. Well, that sucks for you. Oh wait, I only gained one supply? Oh. N5 Terror, holy shit, that was bad. Let's see. Oh, it's the Blemigan! Or Blemigins, if they've perhaps, uh. multiplied. A rush of purple. Your crew returns sooner than you expected. One is nursing a badly bitten arm, another bleeds from a scalp wound, a third is missing altogether. Swarmed by Blemigans, Captain, a survivor tells you, shivering. Never saw the little monsters coming. Hmm. Can I do it again? No, oh, apparently I can. Again? Okay, let's do it again. Again? Uh, fuck. I need to stop doing this. How, why was this successful the first time? Because I've done this, I've done this uh, once, after putting the Blemigan ashore. I did this, and I got supplies just fine, and nothing bad happened. Is it a random chance, and I've just been unlucky? Let's do it again! Fuck! Okay, no more. Let's pick up a passenger, I need money. Where do you want to go? Poor Cecil. Okay, cool. Um, beachcombing or eat and drink? Uh... I don't know. I, I can't remember if I've ever done this. I know I've gone beachcombing a couple times. Lost 10 tear. Okay, that's actually really good right now. Tart morels and morel tart. The salty tang of zeeweed stew. A crawling berry that the locals assure you is a motile plant, not an insect. Eat your fill and drink contemplatively. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this is to convert seven Z-stories or Memories of Distant Shores into a secret. I don't really need any more secrets right now, though. So, well, uh, well, eh, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Okay, do I have enough supplies to make it to the Empire of Hands? Yeah, we'll be fine. I mean, I'm going to be coming back through the Mangrove College anyway on my way back, so it's fine. Ooh, so this is actually around the area where I saw the Fluke Core. If I see that thing this time, I'm going to take it down. 
Because that I know I can take. Fluky. On your oversized sea urchin. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I need to like disguise the ship, put a bunch of spikes on the outside of it to try to. Like, put a bunch of spikes and then wiggle back and forth, suggestively. It's the mating dance of the flute core. Maybe I can attract it. Okay, let's get some treasure, shall we? I suppose I'll get a port report first. Alright, where was it? I think it's the village, right? Yeah, here we go. Ooh, wait a minute, what is this? Eat at the captain's table. Unlocked. With unaccountably peckish anywhere between one and four, and I have two. <laughs> Wounds no more than two, which suggests I'm gonna get wounded if I eat. Uh, Terra no more than 75. Hmm. I'm curious what this would do. But, um, let's do the treasure hunt first, then maybe come back to this. Because perhaps when I'm digging up the treasure, I might gain wounds trying to dig it up. Maybe... Maybe it's trapped? The treasure might be trapped? So yeah, let's do this. Here we go. Persuade him to give you his map. Need a Serian Enigma. And Delightful Archaeology 50. A secret revealed. You bury the treasure, and with a few careful coughs and prods, push the lost treasure hunter towards it. He falls to the ground, digging furiously until he unearths his prize. Bright, shining, his gaze pulled into its revelatory core. But soon his excitement fades. Having found what he thought he wanted, his obsession is over, and the reward merely a bauble as diminished by being dragged from desire to reality as the face of an angel in mere paint. Sadder still is that once you persuade him to give you the map, it takes but a moment to realize his mistake. It's a fountainhead. The fool had it upside down. <laughs> he, he didn't know what to do with the map because it was upside down. Are you kidding me? Wow. You beautiful fool, you. Well, thanks for the map. <laughs> now I have an ancient-ish treasure map. Wait, what is this? I don't know what this does. The Lost Treasure Hunter It requires the map. Is this like to give him the map back? Because I'm sure as hell not doing that. Nope. See ya. Alright, Fountainhead Island. Treasure hunt. Here we go. Secrets are buried here, ready to be uncovered. Ooh, this is gonna be long, isn't it? God, I love Empire of Hands. There's been so many cool events that have happened here. Alright, let's do this. Into the valley. The map of the island shows where to begin. The instructions on the back explain the rest. You only have time for one dig attempt per visit. Every time you return to the valley, you will begin at the correct point for finding the treasure. <laughs> I have an X and Y quality. Y quality is 3, X is 7. My coordinates. This is, this is like an adventure game. You know, like old school text adventure? Type in north-south and stuff to go there. 
<laughs> okay, uh, let's read the map again. The map reads as follows. North for each city the bats have brought down. Then east to the river where no man fears to drown. Venture south for each island the Empire can claim. And west for each bearer of the Emperor's name. Head straight for the horizon. Then take a step more. Letting west end your search with a one, two, three. In the shape of an X, find a seeker misled. Nothing but eternity belongs to the dead. This is going to take me like 50 attempts to actually find the treasure. Um... Some of these I get and some of these I don't. Ah... Uh... Like, head straight for the horizon. That's obviously talking about the Avid Horizon, which is north of here. Well, it, yeah, it's, it's north. I mean, it's north-west, but it's basically north. And some of these I can obviously find out. Like, each island the Empire can claim. I can probably just count them if I look at the map, I suppose. Uh, each bearer of the Emperor's name. I could probably find that out if I visit the court... But north for each city, the bats have brought down. What the heck does that mean? I mean, I know Godfall has fallen down. I don't know if it's because of the bats, but it has fallen down from the uh, the roof. That's one. Beyond that, I don't know. So you need to head north for a certain amount of times. Okay. Let's go north. You know, I should probably... I'm going to write this down. Yeah, I'm going to write down where I've gone, because otherwise I will never remember. Alright, gun north. How many... I, I can't even look at the map right now, can I? I have to give up to, if I want to look at the map, because I can't close out of this. Um... Oh, I can't even dig here. So it looks like... If there is something, it, like, if you find something, it'll be obvious, because you'll have an option to dig. Whereas before, you didn't. Alright, north for each city, the bats are brought down. So I can only think, I mean, I don't I don't get the bats thing, but... Uh... I'm just going to call that good. East to the river, where no man fears to drown. Just keep going east. Your feet itch as mud leaks into your boots. Okay. Are we at the river? Let's, let's keep going east. A few vines put up some resistance, but not for long. Oh. I can't go any more east. Okay, so let's go west again. Oh, fuck, I didn't write down all my steps. Oh god, I'm gonna get lost. Uh, twice... Let me let me just try to get back. South. South. Fuck. Oh god. What did I start at? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, we're back to square one. I'm gonna write down every step again. Uh we need to go north a certain amount and then east to the river. I went east as far I went north once, and then east as far as possible, and I didn't find a river, so I'm gonna go north twice this time. So and you know what? Let's write down the starting coordinates. So starting is Y3. I don't know what the X is, but I'll check it out in a second. Alright, so let's go north once. Now let's go north again. Now let's go east and try to find the river. Alright, so starting X is 7. So Y3, X7. Yeah, I should be able to get back to square one without any problems. I'm... yeah. North, north, east. Let's go east again. 
Writing every step down. Let's go east again. Nope, didn't work. So let's go back west. Back west. Back west. Let's go north one more. Then let's go east. Mm. Nope, same thing. West. 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 Let's go north one more. Now let's go east. Ah. North again? <laughs> oh, an abandoned wild monkey nest. Hmm. Should I dig? Nah, I can always dig here when I come back to it. And by the way, I've stopped writing down where I'm going. Because that's going to take too damn long, so... I'm going to hope I can remember. Alright, so this should be north enough, maybe. Let's go east and try to find the river. Oh, a dried up riverbed. This is probably it. It said, uh... East of the river where no man fears to drown. Oh, yeah, no, no man will fear to drown in a dried up riverbed, right? So this has got to be it. Okay, yeah, so we're here. We are here. Now venture south for each island the Empire can claim. Uh... <laughs> How many islands are there? I don't remember. Let's just keep going south until maybe we find something we can dig up. Oh, the ground here looks disturbed. Okay, I guess we found it. West for each bearer of the Emperor's name. I think there's like four or five. So let's go west. Forgotten Grove. That seemed like too few. That seemed like too few moves. To be every bearer of the Emperor's name, but, uh, okay. Head straight for the horizon, then take a step more. So that means two steps to the north. There's a step to the horizon. Wait, this, this, this is the starting point. Hmm... Hmm. Alright. Let's keep going with it, though. Take a step more. So we're one more north of the starting point. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is a mess. Uh, letting west end your search with a one, two, three. West one, two. Dark corner of the wood. Three. Okay. This is, this can't be right. In the shape of... Of an X, find a seeker misled. Well, I didn't find anything, so I fucked up. Um, I'm lost. Okay, we're back to the starting point. Yeah, I think it was the Empire's hands thing. Let me see if I can remember how to get back there, because I can go backwards. I think if I go south from the starting point. And then east, and then north. This can't be right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh... I might have to cut and then try to figure this out on my own. I'm so lost. Alright, what's my Y? It's four. Let's keep going south. Uh, and then I think I need to go west to get back. Seven. Yep. Back to the beginning. Uh, let's try one more time. And then if I, I can't get it, I'll cut. North for each city the bats have brought down. So once again, I'm just going to go north until something pops up. Okay. 
east to the river. That, that part's gotta be right, because we arrive at the riverbed, the dried-up riverbed. It's gotta be fine. Okay, here we go. So this, this part's fine. Now this is the part that... Well, the two parts that I think I messed up on. Venture south for each island the Empire can claim. So south. Maybe it's just three. I'm feeling three. West for each bearer of the Emperor's name. Let's try that. Let's go west four times. Uh, this is... I'm taking shots in the dark here. Uh, straight for the horizon, then take a step more. So let's go north twice. Letting west end your search with a one, two, three. So three times west. Whoa. Whoa. Did I... Holy shit, this, this might be it. Uh... Hmm... It says, in the shape of an X, find a seeker misled. Uh, this is a large stone idol. It doesn't say anything about an X or a seeker. I'm gonna go with it, though. And let's write down the coordinates of this. So, stone idol... At x two y y seven. I'm pretty sure this isn't it, but oh well, I'm gonna do it. You dig but find nothing. Damn it! Balls. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was disappointing, but um, I'm not done. There's no way I'm just leaving it there. No way. Let's actually take a look. Now that I can look at the map. Um, so the number of islands the Empire can claim. I don't know. What do they lay claim to? Is it all of these technically? Like, I remember visiting every single one of these, but I can't do that anymore. Yeah, like, they don't, they don't, they just don't show up anymore. Now there's only three, so they own at least three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there a seventh? It's awfully black over here. Let's go, let's go check. What if there's actually something back here? Looks like we've hit the edge of the map. There we go, finally revealed it. Come on. Reveal the map. There we go. Alright, so that's obviously not part of the islands. Uh, I believe Tory Point is. Yeah, that's definitely part of it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got that. So, six, six islands. Writing that down. We've got that, but then what about the bats? For each city the bats have knocked down, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I just don't know. Let's uh, see how many people have the Empire's name in the court or whatever. Let's go check that out. Is 
Is this technically a separate island? According to the map, it is. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the court. Let's see. Uh, where do I go? I think I need to go to the souls, right? Hmm. Who bears the Emperor's name? What does that mean? Like, acting in, cap like, official capacity for the Emperor? Got the Mayor, the Ambitious Page, the Veiled Concubine, like, do these count? I don't get it. Let's leave. Okay, let's go on a treasure hunt again. Uh, this time I'm going to cut and see if I can figure this out, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm not 100% certain, but I've got a decent feeling about this. Doesn't say anything about an X or a, uh, a seeker misled. I don't know about this nothing but eternity belongs to the dead. I don't know if that's supposed to help me figure out where to dig, or if that's just a bit of poetry, sort of poetic language. But I'm going to try the small hill. Ah, find nothing. Nope. Alright, I am going to try again. I'll be right back. Oh, whoa, 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 look at this. A marker of crossed bones. Crossed bones, an X. In the shape of an X, find a seeker misled. So those are the bones of someone who was perhaps seeking the treasure themselves? And they were misled? Misled by what? The riddle of the map? Am I, am I about to fall for the same trap? Nothing but eternity belongs to the dead. I'm kind of scared to dig this up now. But I've come so far. <gasps> Treasure. Your shovel clinks against a box. Who buried this mountain of loot here? It is not your problem. If they ever come back, they will be sorely disappointed. Explored Fountainhead Island quality is now 99. Five drowning pearls, ten caskets of sapphire, and a pot of violent ink. Excellent. Um, I'm trying to think of how much that stuff is worth. So the ten caskets, each one is worth around a hundred. So, that's that's actually about a thousand echo. That's pretty good. And uh, let me just remind myself on where to sell those too. Looks like uh oh, looks like the chillinate's a good place to sell them. Yeah, you can buy them from Port Carnelian. Uh, looks like you can also sell them for 95 at Polythreme. But looks like the best price is the Chelinate. So yeah, that's about a thousand Echo worth, so that's actually pretty good. And the Violent Ink. Well, I already used that on the first Curator at Vendorbite. Um... I don't actually know what to do with it. Now that I've already used it on the first curator, what else can I use it for? Can I just straight up sell it? And if so, where? Yeah, it cannot be sold on the London markets. Mm, I don't believe it's in my list here, but let me check. Nope. Yeah, I don't actually know what to do with it. Whoops. Um, let me go to the court. I don't think I can, like, trade it to them. I know I can get it from them if I give them red honey, but I don't think I can actually use it on them for anything. Yeah, this gives me it. If I have red honey. So, yeah. I, I really have no idea what to do with it. I don't know if the first curator wants more ink 
Maybe he's gone through all of it and wants a refill? I don't know. Anyway, see ya. Might as well poke around the shore, I guess. Uh, predatory eyes of desperate monkeys staring from behind every bush and tree. Gotta wait. Okay, fair enough. Well, the Chelinate is right here. It's right freaking there, so I want to go there just to sell the caskets of sapphires. But, the problem with that is that I only have two supplies. So, my people are going to starve. It's a slight problem. And I don't believe the Chelinate actually sells any supplies. And you have to pay an arm and a leg for supplies at the Empire of Hands. But, uh, I don't know, maybe it's not that bad. Let's see. I've never actually done this. Let's get an audience. Six... Oh, wait, that's for fuel. That's not even for supplies. Uh, let's see. 20 Echo, huh? One supply for 20 Echo? Oh, that's, that's actually not too bad. Actually, wait, that that's a normal price. Yeah, that's actually not only not too bad, that's exactly, exactly what you'd pay for it at London. Oh. I... Wish I knew that. That would have helped. In the past. It's only the fuel that's super expensive, not supplies. So, yeah, I might as well really just... Pretty much buy as much as I can right now. Uh, I guess I won't get... Well, yeah, I guess I'll get more, actually. I was thinking I'm going to stop at the Mangrove College. But, it seems like that's not a good place to get supplies anymore. Okay, let's head over to the Chillinate, sell my caskets of sapphires, and then let's call it a day. Ooh, and once I'm at the Chalinate, once I'm at the Chalinate, I can buy the Stygian Ivory to start doing the stuff and the things. Yeah. Remember, I need the, um... Hmm, what is it? I'm looking over at my notes right now. Uh, oh yeah, seven Stygian Ivory and twelve Devil Bone Dice for the Iron Republic to get the weapon. Now, granted, it is a forward weapon, I believe, which means I'm probably not going to use it, because I already have the Memento More, but I'd like to do it anyway. Honestly, though, I probably shouldn't do it right now, because I don't have much money. Well, I'm about to get a thousand Echo from selling the caskets of Sapphires. It'll be fine. Let's do it while we're here. Let's get a port report. Alright, just go ahead and sell all of them. Alright, shall I buy the Stygian Ivory? It really is pretty cheap. And I only need seven, so I only need uh, four, five, six, seven, four more. I don't know why I bothered to count that out. Mental math is really hard. So yeah, other than that, I just need uh, 12 Devil Bone Dice. Which, unfortunately, is really, really far away. All the way at Mount Palmerston. Almost as far away as you can get. Still, though, the uh, hold on my ship is big enough that I can just hold this Stygian Ivory for a while and it's no big deal. Alright, what the hell do I do now? Because I so desperately need money, I kind of want to go back to the Isle of Cats and get some red honey, but the problem is I don't really have enough money to do that. Because um, for it to be worth it, I need to get two red honey. Because if I get one red honey and somebody searches me and I have to pay them off with 500 echo, then I'm actually going to be in the red. So if I want to guarantee that I'm coming out in the green and actually making some profit, I need at least two red honey. Two red honey costs 1,200, which is going to leave me with less than I need to pay off the people that might search my ship. So it's really not worth it to do that right now. Unfortunately. So I, I guess I won't. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything exciting to do right now. I think I kind of just need to head back to London. 
resupply. And then, uh... After that, I think I might head to Mount Palmerston. Ooh, you know what? Yeah, okay, so this is what we're going to do next episode. I'm going to head back to London. Sell my stuff, resupply, turn in port reports, etc., etc. And then I'm going to head to Mount Palmerston to pick up the Devil Bone Dice. And that will give me everything I need to then go to the Iron Republic and get the weapon. So up to Mount Palmerston, get the Devil Bone Dice. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to London to resupply once again. Going to buy some prisoner's honey and stuff like that. Then go down to the Iron Republic to pick up the weapon. Also pick up the fuel to deliver to the Empire of Hands. Then to the Utter Shroom, pick up some Blemigans, propagate them, go to the Empire of Hands, drop off the fuel. Actually, I'll probably go to the Utter Shroom and then Adam's Way to do the whole feast cannibalism thing, and then to the Empire of Hands. Yes, yes. Okay, it's a plan. So back to London, up to Mount Palmerston, down, around, and stuff and things. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of complex, and honestly, I'm probably not going to be able to do all of that next episode. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee it, but that is my loose plan for the next probably two episodes. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.